I mean, that's like the last thing you want to hear as a business owner is fire, fire. Whenever you have a business, you're always going to have accidents and incidents. I can think of a couple that immediately come to my mind that pretty much pop to the top. Basically, when you make the news uh, with the fire departments, highlight reel, that's not a good day. You know, it's just a, a, a calm day at EuroAsian Auto, and, and we're trying to do some uh, spring cleaning and trying to clean up the yard a little bit. And there was just like a size of uh, two, a little storage set about the size of two outhouses put together. I mean, it was just small. And so I told the guys, I said, hey, uh, go tear that down. You know, we don't really need that anymore. Pretty simple task, right? You know, you'd think it should be no problem. I could send a couple of guys out there and, and I'm at my desk and just a calm spring day, a little, little, little windy, but, uh, you know, but just a, a pretty nice spring day. And all of a sudden one of the guys comes running into my office. We got a fire, we got a fire. And I'm like, I mean, that's like the last thing you want to hear as a business owner is fire, fire. I'm like, oh crap. And I run out there. And so these geniuses had decided this little wood shed, instead of just breaking it down physically and tearing it down, let's burn it down. I don't know where they got this idea. I mean, you know, it's nothing that I uh, <laughs> would have ever, ever had anybody do. They start the fire, and of course, I've got cars stacked on racks, salvage cars. So, you know, we've got these things just double stacked, double sided, and just long rows of cars. How we store cars is, you know, cars come in and we, we disassemble certain amounts of the car. Not We don't completely strip the car down. We just take off wheels and tires, doors, drain the fluids, you know, and that sort of thing. And, and we kind of prep it. But the car, for the most part, I mean, every salvage yard is different. Some salvage yards have massive warehouses. So they may come in and they may do more disassembly where they pull the engines, transmissions, and all that stuff. We're a pretty small yard. We're pretty tight on space. So, you know, we just pull off stuff like, like I said, doors, wheels. You know, we leave the hoods on. We leave the engines in the car. You get a car with a bad engine or bad transmission. You know, when you sell one, then you break it down. And, and you know, if you sell the engine, then you put the transmission on the shelf. But I don't, if I pulled every single component out, I wouldn't have any room. Plus, it takes a lot of labor and man hours. You know, we may get a car in where it had 200,000 miles on it. And, you know, you part out a lot of the car, but, you know, it, it came in, had a bad motor, and the transmission had 200,000 miles. You know, you end up scrapping the car, never even pulling the drivetrain out of the car. You pull pieces off the engine, alternator, starters, compressor, stuff like that. But understand, cars, people don't think about, oh, car's a metal thing. Well, there are so many combustibles. Even if you take fluids out of a car, uh, everything in the car you've got, well, the tires are off the car, but all your plastics, all your interior, you know, plastics, they're made of petroleum. You know, they are extremely flammable. You've got all your wiring, your insulation, your fabric, your upholstery. These things are kindling boxes, basically. This building is literally on the south end of the cars. Of course, we've got like a 20, 30 mile an hour south wind going. So I go out there and I literally see this building on fire and the car next to it catching on fire. And I realize immediately that I mean, this is point of no return. There's nothing that we're going to do with a fire extinguisher. So I run back inside the office and I call 911, you know, fire department. It's such a bad feeling when you're just helpless and your stuff's on fire. Because not only do I have these two rows of salvage cars, but I've got cars in the aisles between the rack. If you've never seen a car fire, it would maybe surprise you because they burn very well and very hot and stack them on top of each other, well, that's pretty much a, a recipe for a forest fire. I go back out to the yard and uh, to kind of assess, you know, like where we're at. And I mean, it's just going up like kindling. I mean, cars are just, I'm just watching this whole row of cars go up in flames. And the fire department pulls up on the back side of the business. And you know, it's not the easiest thing to get a hose into a fire truck, into a salvage yard through the back gate. So they couldn't even do it, had to run hoses. 
So I run out the back on the, on the back of the street. They get their fire truck hooked up and, uh, and they're just like fumbling and bumbling around. I mean, it's like, it, it, I'm looking and it's just like the clock is ticking and just everything's on fire. And it's just kind of like the Keystone cops back there at the fire truck, you know, they can't get stuff hooked up, you know, and I'm just watching this and it's just this helpless feeling. And uh, so they finally get the fire hose in the yard. At this time, this is a massive smoke is just billowing up. I mean, you could see it for miles, you know, think about cars on fire and stacked, right? So it's just a perfect, like if you want to do torch cars, this would be a good way to do it. And I'm watching and, and there's, you know, four or five cars have already just burned out and the fire is just heading north and it's just going to consume that entire section of cars. And so they come out there and they start spraying water and they're spraying water like on the cars that have already burned, you know, and, like they're like putting out the cars and I'm watching the fire travel. And I mean, I'm not a firefighter, but my thoughts are to stop it and work backwards, but no, they're just like chasing the fire. It's so hot, the metal poles are fatiguing and cars are literally just going and falling off, landing on good cars that are below it. Like, you know, like cars that aren't salvage cars or, or, or they're just fresh cars or whatever. And I've never seen magnesium burn. That's kind of an interesting sight when you're just looking at a car, it's just like this bright light, you know? <laughs> it's like, Wow, this is uh, this is quite an interesting sight, and it is so hot. I mean, there's about I don't know. There's probably 50 feet between one rack of cars and the other rack of cars. The heat is so intense that it's actually lighting the next row of cars on fire. They're melting and starting to smoke and smolder, and so they're chasing this fire, and it, it consumes basically the entire row of cars and then every car in between, and then ruined half the stuff on the, on the other rack because the, of the heat. I mean, it's just, fire is an amazing thing. At the end of the day, we lost like 32 cars to fire. That was not a, a fun day at EuroAsian Auto. There is now a no flame rule, period. I, I had a torch and uh, you know, salvage yard, you have a torch. No, no, we disabled the torch and there is a no fire rule at EuroAsian Auto now. We'd like to thank Glossit for supporting the VinWiki channel this month. And right now, Glossit is offering the best DIY ceramic coating package that we've ever seen or certainly offered here on VinWiki. For just $69.99, you're going to get their graphene ceramic coating along with the Real Difference Maker, their ceramic detail spray. Now, that's a $50 bottle of spray detailer that I truly love just for daily use. But when you use that alongside their graphene ceramic coating, it makes the removal a lot easier, the outcome a lot smoother, you avoid high spots and things like that. So a DIY idiot like me in my own garage can achieve an outcome pretty similar to what Rich and his team were able to do last year on the Paris Hilton SLR, which I eventually torture tested on rally and road trips and all this stuff and it is now in Bulgaria still looking wonderful so check it out now at the link in the description below there's a very limited quantity so respond now and get yours for just $69.99 thanks Glosset